day 20, the power of forgiveness. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Luke 6.31 A guy once told me, John, you won't catch me getting ulcers. I just take things as they come. I don't ever hold a grudge, not even against people who have done things to me that I'll never forgive. Right. Forgiveness is a beautiful idea until we have to practice it. There are a lot of jokes about forgiveness, but forgiveness is not something that those of us in recovery can take lightly. Because forgiveness is clearly God's prescription for the broken. No matter how great the offense or abuse, forgiveness lies along the path to healing. We all know that one of the roots of compulsive behavior is buried pain. So facing our past and forgiving ourselves and those who have hurt us, as well as making amends for the pain that we have caused others, is the only lasting solution. Forgiveness breaks the cycle. It doesn't settle all the questions of blame, justice, or fairness, but it does allow relationships to heal and possibly start over. In order to be completely free from our resentments, anger, fears, shame, and guilt, we need to give and accept forgiveness in all areas of our lives. If we do not, our recovery will remain incomplete. God wants much more than that for us. He wants us to walk in wholeness, ready to follow the path He planned for us before the beginning of time. Father, what a gift I've found in forgiving and receiving forgiveness. Thank you for your goodness to me. In Jesus' name, amen.